ride on car here, kids ride on car, and I've put a new accelerator in it, one that's proportional. Uh, rather than just the piece of crap switch that's uh, on them by default. Um, so, you can see that's got a nice smooth action going in and out. Anyway, that's got a potentiometer in it. And it's connected up to the circuitry here to drive the motor. Now this is for somewhat future expansion. Got a dual H bridge there. Got an Arduino Nano there that uh, does all the signal processing. And I've got a 300 watt buck converter there. Um, and a second uh, just smaller buck converter to power the Arduino. The third buck converter isn't connected to do anything and my idea was to use that in future for a remote control receiver. Um, so anyway, the other part down there is an optocoupler uh, to detect the direction control switch. So I'll power the thing up. So it's come up good. The red lead means it's... Oh, the green lead on the large buck converter means it's in constant voltage mode and when it goes red it goes to constant current so start pressing the accelerator and we'll see what happens that's full power Now it's a 6 volt motor on there and I've limited with the buck converter the output to 7.2 volts. Now my, my power source, I'm using these uh, 4 amp hour um, uh, 18 volt cells. Uh, so yeah, they've got quite a lot of power in them. Um, 20 bucks for that, you can't beat that for price from Aldi. And I've modified it to put an, 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 a, a Dean's connector on it. Now there, uh, because to like I th could have 3D printed something that that sits into with some pins in there to get the power out, but couldn't be bothered right now. Uh, it's close to Christmas and getting parts is going to be difficult at this time of year. Uh, so yeah, let's use some Dean's connectors. One going into the power system of the car essentially just goes up to the switch there. I've slightly modified it. And it goes to this switch here, so when I push that down there, it's sending one well, of the whole 18 volts down to the blue wire here, uh, which I've sent into the optocoupler, so that's the simplest way of uh, getting the forward reverse signal into the system. So, uh, what else? This cable here goes down to the accelerator, just used a bit of... Cat 6 or Cat 5, the flexible stuff, had it lying around, so yeah, that makes it uh, easy. And it's mounted the whole on a plastic board, so in future I can mount a second motor on that H bridge and um, do funky stuff like uh, put uh, angle detection on the steering wheel so it changes the speed of the left and right hand side motors to make it easier to turn as well, so yeah. Anyway, give it one more, one more hit. And that's that, so, yeah, if I wanted to, I could ramp up the uh, power on that buck converter more. Uh, ramp up the voltage on a bit more if I wanted more power out of this thing, but uh, at the moment I want to limit it to... Uh, and that's mainly what that's for. Anyway, that's enough for this video. And I may, if I can be bothered, put some links on the um, well, STL files, maybe the FreeCAD files for that uh, pedal there. So, yeah, and that's all for this video.